we used to have a little drive out weekends. Then I said to me, all my friends, why don't we all gather up and have a little drive on, on a Sunday or something? And they said, oh yeah, what a good idea. So that's how we started. So I think the first year, I think we had 27 turned up and we just went through the forest for a few miles. Then they all liked it. Then we made it as a regular thing. Then we'd done it, we'd done that three or four times. Then I said, why don't we have a proper driving? And I called it Danny Cooper's New Forest Drive. I think there was, there was 125 or 130, but there would have been a lot more because the weather we had this year, we had a lot of um, winds and everything. People come from all over the country. It was coming from Scotland, Wales, London, Reading, Kent. And uh, well, th this year, we had a lady come from New Zealand, all the way from, she flown from New Zealand just to be on our drive. I'm a school teacher and one of the students in my class found the gypsy cob on the internet when I was teaching computing. And I was really fascinated by them. I thought they were beautiful horses. So when the class left, I, looked up and did some research and I found out they were very kind temperament and easy to manage so I decided I wanted to buy one. And then when I looked further I discovered they're not in New Zealand so cut long story short I bought four via the internet without even viewing them and shipped them out where well, they flew out to New Zealand and I had no horse experience so it was all a big learning curve and from there I went to Appleby Fair, I think I've been five times now. And now I've sort of evolved to the driving side and this is my first drive. Uh, so yeah, that's my plan now to learn to put the horse in harness and come on drives. They start coming in. We had, we got one woman comes here a week before she comes from Somerset. She comes every year. That is her main holiday. She comes on a Monday and she stays all week and she stays to the following Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, we, we might have, could have 30 or 40 people coming in before the drive starts because they come in the caravans and everything and they use it as an holiday. So, and, and they, and they love it. The kids love it. They have the little fires down there and have something on the fire to eat. The swing pans going and one day everything. You know what I mean? It's lovely. Lovely to see. We leave from here. We go um, to um, the Appy Cheese. Then we go behind the Appy Cheese. Then we go all through. The, the forest all across the greens and we go to uh, the Beauty Road where they have the pony cells. Then we have an hour or so there, give the horses a break. Then we go from there through Denny Wood where the caravan site is and everybody, all the caravan people has come there with cameras and taking films and photographs, they love it and all the kids, you know. Then we go straight through to um, the Balmalon to the river and we have a couple of hours there, then we come all the way back through the forest, back here. I think it's 25 or 26 mile rain. That's how far the drive is.
Forest Commission, they um, was very good to us. They, and they give me permission to go through the New Forest to uh, the Beauty Road and to the Balmoral to get to go all through the enclosures. And uh, they give us the key to open the gate to go through. And they should put signs on the gate saying that we should be beware there's a new there's a drop the drive coming through today. We do get a lot of people stop and take photographs and, and when we go to the Balmalon, um, people come there every year on holiday just to see the horses in the river. This is not this is not a man's drive. This is a family drive with women and kids. And you see the young kids driving the horses and everything, and they love it. They, 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 they ring up and say, oh, and I keep saying, oh, I might not do it next year. And they say, oh, don't do, don't, don't stop, don't stop. Because we look forward to coming every year. That's is our holiday. We, we make, you know, that's one thing we look forward to is coming on the drive. We get all sorts, we get four wheelers, get silkies, get exercise carts, you name it, it all comes, to be fair. A lot of people come to the Beauty Road, spectators, just to see the horses coming in. You must have 50 or 100 or more, just people watching. So they do like to see it, you know. I have the blacksmith every year, yeah, they come and he follows us around wherever we go, the blacksmith follows. Sometimes I have two. Something, something happens along the way, it's always like something, but nothing, nothing really, really bad, you know what I mean? It's usually they get, they get a puncture or something or, or the bit of the arm breaks or something and they, you've got to mend it to go on to the next spot. They can't wait to get the Balmain on because the young kids, the young boys and girls, love, even, even the older blokes, they love going in the river with the horses. And there's people there, where you, you see how many people was there this year just watching the horses going in the river. They love it, absolutely love it. They can't wait to get in the river. I don't know what it is about horses in the water, but they do love it.
there's more girls in the water than there is boys. I don't know what it is, but they do love it. <laughs> My main concern is if everybody gets back safe and sound, then the pressure is off of me then. I feel good. Then that's the only time I can, re can relax. Yeah. If you enjoyed this programme, Please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell if you want to be notified when more videos are available.